Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is week 11 of my training plan. Only 20 days to go now. Uh, if, you're, if you're new here, you wouldn't notice, but uh, if you have watched before, you know I'm in a different room. Uh, I'm going to try uh, and write in here. So with the stream, this acts like a green screen. Um, just to make it look maybe a little bit cooler. Uh, I don't know if it will work because it isn't the perfect green. But I'll test it out in a minute. Uh, this is what I've got. Uh, to put the computer up on. Just got this, which probably won't be high enough if we go in from here, but uh, I can work it out somehow. All right, so after literally an hour later, I'm pretty sure it's been, uh, it's all set up, uh, moved the fan. Uh, it's a bit of a bodge with the Wahoo, uh, the kicker box, sorry, on there. Got the towel on. Uh, yeah, should be ready to go. Anyway, this is the training session we've got to do today. Week 10, oh God, week 10, 20s. Right, it hasn't loaded into Zwift yet. All right, it's even later, and I've finally got it uh, into the right file. You guys know the session by now. But if you are new, it's basically just the uh, blue. I, I know we have different zones because this is a five-zone base, and usually it's on a seven-zone base. But uh, blue, green, blue, green. So just some uh, light tempo with a couple of sprints thrown at the end. Uh, 370 watts. Uh, let's head to uh, let's head to Richmond. We'll head to Richmond. Uh, yeah, right. I haven't trained on Zwift. Uh, in terms of training, not actually racing. It must have been almost a week uh, by now. So, yeah, haven't done it for a while. Let's get started. You see that? Every pedal stroke, I'm just kind of moving to the right. And that uh, little leg uh, is bouncing up and down. So, it's better I, I know it's there, I guess, rather than the race tomorrow. So I've got to sort that out, unscrew it a little bit more because um, it really is bouncing around and I'm moving side to side on every pedal stroke, which is a bit annoying. I won't be able to get out of the saddle really, uh, but it doesn't really matter for a, a kind of uh, low pace uh, ride like today's. So I'll sort it out just after for the race tomorrow. All right, just under 10 seconds to go. First little ramp, five minutes, 225 watts. Which is, hang on, what's the key though? Uh, 3.7, 3.8, there we go. Of course, anyway, completes the first slightly more tempo session, a uh, session, block, interval, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm into the second one, five more minutes of this, and then that's the tempo of blocks over, and there's gonna be a couple of short sprints, short and easy sprints. All right, first kick coming up. 370 watts, 20 seconds. That's it. It's supposed to be a low intensity. Yeah, it's supposed to be a low intensity ride. So, uh, yeah, let's hit it. Cool down now. So I just went from 249 to 250. Oh no, me and we're going mad. Anyway, oh, that's nice. Hamstrings are a bit stiff today. Not too sure why, but they were. Uh, let's get that fixed as well. Some lap of the uh, 2015 World Course. Completed. There we go, just under 10 seconds to go. Uh, end of the ride. Now, got a race tomorrow. I'm uh, not sure if it's a British cycling one. Don't know if they're uh, continuing. I hope they are, but they're also pretty tough. So I wouldn't mind either way. Anyway, that's the end of the session. Completed. All little sets. Catch you for uh, hmm, Friday's training. See ya. All right, today is Friday. Uh, yesterday I took a rest day, I was supposed to do a race, but that didn't quite work out, so today uh, I've got a double ride day, so today we're starting with this training. So uh, it's just a pretty, should be pretty easy anyway, just mainly the blue stuff and a couple of ramps uh, for two and a half minutes each uh, into the, to the yellow zone, so 265 watts, I think that's sweet spot or just under or something, so um, yeah, we'll work it out, should be pretty easy, and then after that I'll probably have four or five hours uh, of recovery until the race, which I'm going to be streaming. Would have already been streamed by the time this comes out. Anyway, yeah, let's get going. Two minutes 20 is a session in total, so just over an hour. Not really a round number. I uh, haven't done the session before. As you can see, it's not the typical uh, blue and green and red. It's the blue and yellow. Nice colour combination. Actually, hang on, that's the colour combination of the channel. Anyway. Alright, just decided which race I'm doing. I'm racing the 3R London Classic. At a 1805, just past six. Uh, so I'm gonna have 
just over five hours of recovery. By the time this is over, 58 minutes. Yeah. Guys, 20 seconds from the first one. Uh, that two and a half minute block, I guess because it wasn't very long. And uh, usually I do them for six minutes uh, as part of a two hour session. So I guess it was that as well. Anyway, 12 and a half minutes, we got the same again. And then the intervals are over. Not at all. Just the, the Thursday, Thursday elite races. Uh, got 12, pretty happy with that. Didn't get a top 10 in the end, but hey. So, uh, 20, about 20 minutes in total. Let's go. There we go. There's the final interval. Complete. 190 watts for the last sort of 15 minutes now. And then, five minute cooldown. Had a nice 100 watts, so. Right now, Innsbruck is a pretty nice world. Probably my favorite. Anyway, uh, five minutes to go. Just cool down. Look, just have introduced uh, buff flies. Pretty cool. Um, lightens the mood of a tough interval session. Just slightly. Anyway, end the ride. Come on up. Let's have a look at the uh, the overview. Uh, if you didn't know, I am using Erg mode. Uh, I'll definitely not be this with in real life. Uh, Swift isn't real life, remember? Uh, yeah, completed all those sets, wasn't too hard. It's supposed to be an RPE of three, so three out of 10 difficulty. Uh, yeah, um, got to recover, I think five hours until the race, four hours, five hours. Um, yeah. All right, guys, uh, today is Saturday. This is what we got to do. Uh, a session with a lot of kind of power spikes in it. I think they're 50, yeah, 50 seconds each at 370 watts. That's tough. Uh, that's repeated four times, and then it should be easy towards the end. Uh, just over halfway through is when the last one finishes. Anyway, uh, I think I'll be riding uh, in London, London today. So let's change the route. Let's get something hilly. London pretzel. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's go with four of them uh, in quick succession-ish, but I'll report after the interval. Okay, I was tough, but I managed to get through it. Relatively okay. Anyway, 15 seconds until the next one. I hope I'm still right before and after the fourth one. It takes a couple of minutes to recover after them. Thankfully, I've got eight uh, minutes 50 between each of them. Let's go into the third, just on 30 seconds. And then one more to go after that. 49 minutes to go. Here we go. Final interval coming up. Grandpa Lou is running with me. Uh, yeah, so 50 seconds, 370 watts. Again, for the final time, just under 40 minutes to go in total now. Ooh, see you on the other side if I get there. One minute efforts, at least there or thereabouts, are done. Felt right. Now going to the tempo uh, block. Gonna be almost 15 minutes, 14 minutes 50, 225 watts. This session is pretty much finished. Oh my God, that was tough. I don't know why. I just felt absolutely knackered by the end. I guess the hard warm-up uh, really cancer a bit of the fatigue. I didn't sleep so well, but I managed to get through it. So I'm enjoying this 101 watt cooldown. Finally, uh, hour and 27, uh, and a couple of seconds on top of that. About 1,000 calories, 91 TSS, so I think that's a fair bit. I don't know much about that though. Uh, yeah, pretty. Pretty standard power graphs and uh, critical power isn't in my best. Oh, you can probably tell I'm quite tired, my voice. But I'll catch you for tomorrow's short training session. I think it's only 37 minutes. All right, final day of training coming up. It's Sunday, uh, I've got half an hour to do. Originally it was an hour and 11 minutes, uh, but this is supposed to be a recovery week and I did do uh, a race in between, so I am gonna lower it to half an hour. Um, this is what I'm gonna be doing. This is what we got. Uh, it's only half an hour. It seems like a pretty, pretty easy session with uh, a lot of blue in there. But then here's the very intense warm-up, which I'm usually tired at the end of by. At the end of by. Um, and then there, right afterwards, we've got uh, the main interval of the session, uh, literally right after, after this. So it's going to be 305 watts. I know it says 303, but I know it will change to 305. Uh, right after the warm-up for almost two minutes. It's going to be tough. But I should be able to make it through if I can keep the, the cadence consistent and high. 
Anyway, we're heading to London. Got some home luck. Yeah. New zone and no proper intervals. But yeah, just gonna keep my focus, keep the kents high. Uh, preferably above 90. I mean, not for 120 watts, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. All right, intensity has been completed. Uh, it was tough. You still see the graph there. Uh, man, it was hard, but nice to get through it. Now it's doing 190 watts. Uh, I've only got eight and a bit minutes to go until the cool down. Nice bit of intensity in the morning. Oh, did I mention I'm doing it at uh, 10 past 10 in the morning so I can get the video out nice and early. And it's also nice to train in the morning sometimes. I feel like you're making use of your day a bit better. There we go. There's the end of the session. Uh, just five minute cool down now, 100 watts. Quite a nice finish the week off. Uh, it's supposed to be a recovery week, so that's why I turned down this final session of the week. All right, there we go. There is the end uh, of this training session, which marks the end of the week. Uh, let's have a quick look at the stats. I completed the set uh, nicely there. Quite, quite a smooth power throughout there, uh, but it was tough. I was feeling it, but I managed to keep the cadence up, and I find that cadence is probably the most important thing when it comes to uh, working with erg mode. Set a new five second best power this week um, in my race the other day. Uh, yeah, let me show you when I upload it. All right, so just uploading it now. You can click there and it uh, should come up here. How do I sleep? Probably six out of 10. Energy levels, pretty good, I'd say. RP of four. Yeah, I'll give it a four, that's, that's fair enough. Probably slept for eight and a half hours. It's half decent. Can we get another 100 score? Can we get all 100? Ah, oh, 99. Really? 99? We've got 100 on all of them. Anyway, uh, that's pretty good. It just means that you haven't overcooked or undercooked yourself. Uh, so it seems to be going well. As you can see, we had two rides on Friday. If you uh, include the race, let's submit the week. Actually, before, you see my free trial ends in 18 days. But I've got more than 18 days of training, so I don't quite know how that's going to work. Let's just dial in the race. Uh, event. There we go. Pretty, uh, pretty normal week. Two hours tomorrow. See ya.